between India and Pakistan. Uh, a project of three years, naturally, we've had to engage with many, many stakeholders and we've collected a huge amount of debt already. This project commenced in August 2012 and this will continue uh, for another uh, couple of years at least, a uh, better part of a year and a half. And uh, I'm sure, no doubt, that we'll uh, collect many more debts along the way. Uh, it's not my intention to, to, to repay those debts, we probably cannot. Uh, but just to recount uh, with humility the contributions that several of you have made to the success of this project and you witnessed evidence of that today. Uh, let me you know, formally, profusely and humbly thank both the two former Commerce Secretaries, Zafar Mahmood Saham and Dr. Rahul Kullar for their passionate uh, and, a, a, and a lecture and a speech that you obviously uh, saw the vast benefits of proximity. They were both very, very close to the process and their vast experience uh, showed through uh, in the lecture. And I, on behalf of ICRIR, I thank them profusely uh, for uh, the erudition, the wisdom, and the insights that they brought into the process and uh, ultimately bringing the two countries together, which uh, is the objective. Uh, of this entire exercise. So, can I request you to, you know, give them a big round of applause. I also thank uh, profusely the Ambassador Salman Bashir Sahab, who's had to leave to, to catch a flight, the High Commissioner of Pakistan to India for taking uh, his time and, and being here with us. And we also acknowledge the, the continued support of the High Commission uh, of Pakistan in facilitating this entire process of engagement with our uh, collaborators, with our various uh, uh, institutions in Pakistan. Naeem Armar Sahab is, is here and thank you very much. He's always been very helpful as have all the other representatives from the High Commission. Uh, I will also uh, like to thank Ambassador Sharad Sabarwal. Uh, who helped us organize the annual conference uh, in Delhi last year, as well as the round table in Lahore. And uh, I'm sure that he'll be associated uh, in the future parts of this uh, process as well. Uh, to the audience, all of you, uh, and I see many distinguished people here, Munjal Sahib, uh, Dr. Gulati, many, many, as Dr. Kular said, there are so many, uh, all of you distinguished that I do not wish to, uh, to name each and every of you, but we thank you for your support. You know, whenever we have occasions like this in a career, uh, everybody reminds us in a career, you have great convening power. Uh, and, you know, ICRIR is able to get together a lot of distinguished people uh, and has abiding convening power. But that is an incomplete statement, I think. It's the support, you know, you've always supported the research uh, that ICRIR has done and therefore uh, we've been able to, to gather the respect and credibility of people like yourself. Both the speakers actually mentioned uh, the quality of the work that ICRIR has done in this project and we accept that humbly and graciously and we promise that we will continue to uh, to do continued uh, quality work in the future as, as well. Uh, please see our website for the new and exciting dynamic work that ICRIR is doing in areas other than India-Pakistan trade. There are several other areas and I encourage you to look at the website. There are uh, several other uh, projects that we are doing. As this notable project enters its second year, let me just recount uh, the institutions, mention some of the institutions I have already have in the introduction who supported us during this process. The uh, IBA, the International Business Ac Academy in, in Pakistan, in Karachi, and the Sustainable Policy Development Institute, and the many chair, and they are, and I will name them individually, uh, and some of them are here. Uh, Sanjana Joshi, who's sitting at the back, Gurpreet Singh Bhatia, Samriddhi Bimal, Isha Dayal, Devyani Pandey, and Radhika Saini, and some of them are here, and we will. To the media as usual, thank you for supporting us. And to the administrative team uh, of ICRIR, uh, to Manmeet, to Rajkumar, to Neha, and the entire team who helped in organize, uh, organizing this event, a big thank you. Uh, finally, I would also take this opportunity to, 
to just say thank you to our chairperson, Dr. Isha Alwalia. I don't need to say more. She's always there uh, for our activities. She's always been there, ready to help. Uh, I, I would like to say one more thing, uh, uh, and this has been discussed during the, the conversation, and Dr. Kuller mentioned it a little while ago as well, uh, as uh, when he mentioned we're seeing through the, you know, rather than just see it through the trade lens, there's a composite, but the trade leg is important, and there's a growing body of literature that focuses on economic interdependence as a causal factor in promoting peace by increasing the value of trade. That means the, the, it's it becoming a causal factor in promoting the cause of peace. And I think, I hope we are able to do that. And at ICRIA, we promise that we don't want to be turned into stone. We are going to uh, keep looking ahead. And alongside, I'm also reminded, you know, uh, bear with me, of what Cassius uh, uh, said to Brutus. Uh, when they were beginning to have differences in their relationship, and I'm reminded of that, he said, a friend should bear his friend's infirmities. Uh, and I think both those speakers today uh, have helped us establish that ultimately India and Pakistan are friends. Uh, and they've said it openly, uh, that we are ultimately friends. And they've also set that process in motion where we have to begin to recognize and realize each other's infirmities. And only then can we make progress. So thank you all of you very much. And I <laughs> and I uh, invite you all for a cup of high tea. Thank you. <laughs>